We're gonna try to fly the plane. Yeah, it's not me. You're right, brother. Coming in land. Alright, so we're gonna go, uh, let's get this sound down a bit. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> Can't turn down the sound right now. Or can I? One second. I think I can turn down the sound right now. Uh, whatever. You can hear me, you can hear the plane. That's what we're here for. Alright, well, we're gonna go have a look at the uh where are we going? We looked at the um, Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains of Three Sisters hasn't been uh, fixed up yet. I'm guessing they'll do that eventually. I'm using my new flight uh, little gear. I'm just setting up my uh, thing. Here we go. Whoa, this plane is... Uh, hard to do because I've got to do it with the controller because I took my other um, joystick away. And we're up safely. Bring up this landing gear. Jump in this bad boy. This bad boy is a new plane. Downloaded this plane um, not long ago. off it now you can land brother much more better turns the problem is you've got to make sure you straighten the plane back up see all right let's get the trim out too much trim down we go just a little bit there maybe and we will set that trim there a bit windy out here brother Get a bit of... I gotta remember where we are in the uh, actual map. <laughs> Let's just unset that for a second. Reset that now. And away we go. I gotta get out and see where the hell we are. We took off at the airport. We have to go up that way. So we have to. I don't know how this ele what whatever these do. Ah, oh, this is my stuff. See, this is Yeah boy. Let's go out a little bit. I don't know if you guys see it the way I see it, but my screen, I don't know if it's my screen or... I guess I'm seeing it in 1440, it is, uh, there's some new thing they put on the game that I'm not sure, that I don't like, whatever that flary stuff is off the side. I don't know which one it is to turn it off. Still looks alright to me. See all that flariness? Like really bright lights. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is there, Barry, but... I would like to be able to set it up so I could uh, do this. This is that. This is a bit too touchy. 
I would like to be able to set the the side panel up so I can actually fly properly. But I do like this uh, new stick because it helps you out pretty good. I'm trying my best. It's all set on high high resolution um, stuff. I don't know what the go is with the, uh, I guess the water looking like that. That's how it looks. The glare off of the water, mirrored. I'm guessing that's how they do it. This is the new plane that I uh, got. I don't know if this actually, oh, yeah, this looks around it, this is better. There we go, bruh. We don't have all our lights on, but, the hell? Put our lights on, brother. None of the friggin' lights were on. The hell? I love how the plane just flies by itself, level. So I'm assuming it's up here somewhere. I never seen it last time when I flew down this way. So I don't think they've updated this either. But these minor things they update later on. They just wanted to get the game out and do stuff I guess. But uh, yeah, I brought this plane, I brought an F-18, I brought five jets. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go up here and have a look. I don't think the Great Barrier Reef is there, but if it is, beautiful. Cairns Tower two six sixty six two one four two frequency change. That's me. No way. All right. So who do we want to change to? But, uh, we probably change to Cairns. We're going away from him, so we want to show. We don't really need it right now. We're not going to finish this flight anyway. We are uh, only going to fly up here and see. It's supposed to be just up here in front. I don't know what that was. See that? What's that? Water tower. So yeah, the ground doesn't look that 100% good there but they are fixing all that stuff in different countries they just pick a country and they actually work on it so so for you people in the Xbox that need to know if it's good to fly with a uh, Xbox controller I'm actually flying with an Xbox controller right now just to test it out you let go of the stick and it just floats I don't know how to work the trim and uh, stuff like that on the Xbox. But we're going down to quick air. We've actually wrecked the uh, trim. We need to get the trim back up. Not that far. Calm down, brother. That's the only problem when you're doing it with the computer and you touch the Xbox controller. It takes those uh, controls away. So it, it wrecked my trim. So I tried to get the plane to fly level. So I'm going to do it from in here. I'll just try to get it level. And then I'll set the trim. So what you do is you set the trim while you're flying level. Like that. and set it, let it go, and the trim should settle out in a minute, other than that I don't think we're going to see the Great Barrier Reef today people, so I'm very sorry about that, that's not my, uh, not my doing, we should have already gone past it by now, going by the Google Maps that I've got up on screen here. Um, 
We should have already gone past it, taken off from uh, Townsville, or oh, it's further up. I don't know how far Cairns Airport is from Great Barrier Reef. Does anyone know? It's going to be close. I'm just looking here. I'm looking at the outskirts of the... I can't look at the map. Can I bring the map up? Which one's my map? That's my handbrake. There's the map. Okay, so go and buy this. If I look at the map of Australia, and I have a look at, uh, let me just straighten my plane up a bit here, flying to the wall, we should be Whoa. There's a plane above me there, look. See, he's above me there, just above my propellers. There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy! He would have been upset if I, uh, Get off me, puzzle. Alright, let's just get this back to normal because we're, uh... No! Can't get up! I'm looking at the map, and then looking at where we are. So the Great Barrier Reef is in between this section. Here. Or up here. Oh, it's there. It's here. We've already gone past it. I'll find Ken's airport. And then I'll tell you exactly. <laughs> yeah. Of course I know where I'm going. I have not a clue. We should be going back the other way. Oh, I'm in the red. Hang on. Get that back a bit. Whoa. Get that back a bit because my, uh... Where's my mixture? That's my prop. That's it. Whoa, did that just drop bombs? Huh. It's like it's dropping bombs there. Uh, let's get it up a bit. Half in the green. See, I'm looking at what you're looking at on the screen right there. I'm looking at that on my iPad. So when I'm in here, I can just drive from out here or just sit in. So yeah. I need to sort this trim out from doing what it's doing. Gotta give it a minute to just settle in. And then set it. Okay, so we're going the wrong way. Sorry. My bad. I don't know if we'll see it anyway, but we were going the wrong way. We were going the right way the first time. degrees left. Nav man. Nav one is uh, 
We should be going south. Out that way. You know what I'll do? Let's go back because um go back to the main menu quickly. This is what we're gonna do anyway to go to Rome and stuff like that. So we're gonna get a F eighteen jet. So we can move a little bit quicker. I haven't flown one of these bad boys yet. Oh goodness. Let's have a look and see, eh? So we wanna go to Cairns Airport. When we take off, we're gonna come down this way. Because going by Great Barrier Reef is here in this area. But I'm wondering if I just take off on one of these. That motorbike mate. We could just take off on one of these airports. Let's pick this airport, set of departure. One way fourteen. Listen to that bike bad. Alright. Oh you son of a bit. Drop my phone. Now I'm gonna set up a thing from Cairns Airport. Uh, Google Maps. Uh, not Google. Google Great Perry Reef Airport. So we're going to go from Cairns International Airport to the Great Barrier Reef. Search. <laughs> Cairns International Airport is there All right. in my location not for my location Jesus okay we want to go All right, let's get this fucking plane ready Ready to turn these knobs down. All right, so we were doing that new one there. I got a couple of new planes here. I think that's new. That's that's old. Is that's new? Uh, but we're gonna overtake one of these. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe a so Skyhawk. Bear. See what liveries we got, eh? No liveries with that one. All right, let's have a look and see what this one's got. You got any liveries, buddy? Yeah, you got liveries, mate. All right, so what do we want? Take the greenie. We'll just sneak under the radar. Ha! Yeah, boy. All right. Ha! Yeah, we're going, brother. How do you set up Google Maps? I don't want to... I don't want to go from my home address. I want to go Cairns International Airport and I want to add one Cairns International Airport 2 uh, Cairns International Airport It'd take me one day and three hours to drive that from my house. And I'm restricted because of COVID. <laughs> they won't let me. Jesus Christ. I don't really want to go there. Directions. Chosen point. Great Barrier Reef. Ready to fly? What the fuck's going on here, man? 
Why were they here? What the fuck? Look at the shit in here. Holy smack it. Well, this is what we're flying. Jesus. This is what we're going to take off in. The Great Barrier Reef is right there. It's right outside the airport, so it's not really there. Well, let's get back in the plane because how the fuck do you see out of this thing? What the monkey? Is this what they see out of? You at least just your head a little bit, buddy. Off with that. Here we go. Shit. Damn! We got some fucking shit though. Yes! Ha! Damn baby! We don't want to go that way. Start going down a bit, bro. We don't want to get into the clouds, bro. We don't want to get into clouds. Set that. That's some good shit right there, bro. Doing, man. Damn. You're thrusting too much. Whew. Oh, damn. Man. You are a nugget. We are so high already. Let's just fly this puppy. Film remain fuel film remaining. Ah, oh, we recording this shit. <laughs> there we go. We'll go this way then, eh? Heaps cool to fly. Oh shit. That's why we're flying up. Friggin' idiot. The fucking flaps were down. Doesn't help when your flaps are down. Look there you see shit bad. You can see right back there to see if anyone's coming after you. Eject button there, bruh. I think we're gonna go over there. There it is there. All right, great barrier roof, we're coming. Look at this. 
Where are we at that, brother? We are set. We'll go this way first. The fume glare, that's the sun glare, that's what it is. The sun glare, I've got to fix that up. Jesus, touchy. Where's me guns? <laughs> All right, let's get out. Let's get away from the plane a bit. Because it might be a bit too much. It's a little loud noise, but it's a F-18 jet, what do you expect? Shit. That's flying low. That's 160 meters. <laughs> I don't know how that'll look in the in the cockpit. Oh no, I'm heaps off the ground. <laughs> this is cool. Right? These are good to come. I can't wait till the helicopters come. We'll go through this channel. We'll do a UE and we'll go back the other way. How we fly the jet, brother? Whoa! Down close to the water there, brother! We were almost in it! Ooh, yeah! Now that's flying under the radar, my friend. That is flying under the radar. Whoa, mother! That's kind of clutch. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Now that is even worse. What are you doing, brother? What are you doing? Trying to kill us? It's working, but it's not working very good. I guess because of how fast we're flying. Now we're fucking flying, bruh. Now that's flying, bruh. What are we cruising at? 315! <laughs> yeah! We're going up too fast, we're stuck in that electron beam. 
see what we can do. Whoa. 400. Oh shit, pull it up there. Now that's serious, brother. Holy shit. There we go. Let's hit that. Dunk Island, brother. Dunk Island. <laughs> I can't remember what this button was. What was this button? That's how you use this yoke. If I was using the other joystick, I'd be in the water by now. Seriously be in the water. Right, so I don't know what the hell's going on here, but we'd never land there in this. Somewhere out here, somewhere in the ocean, there's an uh, aircraft carrier to try to land on that bad boy. All right, so you heard it took a day, one day and One day, one and a half days to get to Sydney. <laughs> this thing, I'll be there shortly. I ain't gonna try to land this bad boy. I'm really sorry, but. You gotta touch the trim a little bit, then you gotta leave it alone for a sec. And then you set it. I think I have. I don't know if these buttons actually work. I have nose down and nose up, but it seems to be doing up. I wanna go down with the nose. My nose go down. Is it working? That's the L that's the trim doing it slowly. Anyway, flying upside down there people <laughs> that's me chugging G forces that's fucking sick <laughs> that's the G forces in the plane making me sick <laughs> oh, you see. All right, so that's that's uh, that's a flop on the Great Barrier Reef as well. So let's go back to the main menu. <clears throat> go back to the main menu. We'll go find somewhere else now. Yeah. So that was a flop on uh, Great Barrier Reef, a flop on the uh, thingy, a let's go to Pyramids of Giza, Cairo, alright, I've been there before so it should come up, somewhere, yeah, there's Dubai, went to Dubai as well, I've been to all these 
It's so good this game, you can go anywhere you like, mate. Alright, where's Cairo? What's the uh, ICAO code? Is uh, IAVA. IAVA. Oh, yeah. No, that's not right. Oh, that's a Maldives, you idiot. You're stupid. Cairo, C A I. C A I. Cairo International Airport. Um, that's where we want to be. We need to find the pyramids, which are, I think, up this way. So we need to find a runway that we're going to take off. here let's zoom in we're going to take off that way we want to go over here because there's a plane coming in now uh, we're going to be careful of that too we're going to be careful of the planes because they're normal people flying around plus real live planes flying here this is the uh, MSR 21 that's probably a uh, that's green so that's a uh, normal normal oh he landed well man he's obviously been playing this for a while but there are all the parking areas you can get to there's another airport you can take off on let's just change the plane because we don't want to go too fast because you do see the uh, pyramids pretty good the pyramids are there I've already been there once before what's this other oh yeah that's why he's another. All right, so I found this little plane. There's a couple of planes. I haven't driven this yet. So let's have a look and see the liveries of this. We'll go yellow one. And we'll go Cairo International Airport. And we will fly to Because the airport, the pyramid to here. Okay. Somewhere. They'll come up anyway because they're a, they're a, uh... Anyway, let's fly. Okay. We'll just fly. Because we've got a bit to get through. So we're going to fly past the pyramids. Do we U-turn, come back through the pyramids, and then we're going to land on the ground and then I'll go to the next place which is probably the Swiss Alps for my wife that will be there Rome will be there the Great Barrier Reef and the Blue Mountain Three Sisters they haven't upgraded Australia yet they've only updated Sydney Brisbane and um, Brisbane Melbourne Adelaide and uh, Sydney Okay. The Swiss Alps will always be there because that's the main part of the world. Pyramids are there. The Maldives will be there. I don't know if we're going to see the stuff, but I believe that they have fixed that up because the, the DLC I downloaded, I actually seen them in the... I don't know. In the Grand Canyon. That'll be there. Like little milestones of like the Three Sisters, the... Uh, Great Barrier Reef, I took a risk. They're not really there. I took a little flight of uh, the Three Sisters before I went live, and it, it's not sexy. Power tower CHU 666-2142 ready for straight out departure at runway 2 tree right. Shit. That's the mixture. So when we get up, we can bring that back to 30. This is... That's nothing in this plane. That's the throttle. Yeah, this is like a little... Is this the plane? No. Alright, so we've got some cars over there. 
This is Cairo International Airport. Let's go into the. Uh, I don't know if I can go into the drone mode for you. Can I go drone mode? No. Smart cam. Pretty windy. Uh, how do I get to the thingy? Showcase? Free camera. Camera drone. There we go, we go up. How do you make the drone faster? Cause that's fucking slow, bruh. Drone speed, there we go. There's a bus. This is uh, Cairo International Airport. Right here. When we get in drone, when we get to the pyramids, we'll actually, uh... Which way are the pyramids, actually? So I know which way to go. Pyramids. Uh, that's Cairo. They're over there in the desert. They're near a big... That's mainly Cairo. That's all near the water and stuff. So the pyramids are out that way. Sure of it. I remember them being... Anyway, that's Cairo Airport right there. Looks pretty good, man. We have... Where's no one actually landing? You can sit here and you can watch planes land and take off and stuff if you wanted to. Anyway, we're going to go back to the... Uh, to the external view there. This is what we're driving. We're about to take off. Let's go in the cockpit. It's always good to take off in the cockpit. And release the brake. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Got to do little touches of the... Uh... I brought myself a button quadrant. And I also brought me self the foot pedals so I can control the rudder and stuff with my foot instead of them doing how I'm doing it right now. And we're off. And we can take this off. And we can go outside the cab for you. I don't believe we can fold these feet. These feet are good. Flaps are good. And we want to start to level out a little bit, people. What? Roger that. Roger. Cairo Tower 2666-2142, frequency change. There we go. That's how you fly. Set that. Right, now let's get our uh, revs out of the out of there. Get our main speed down. Where's our uh, thing? Uh, mixture. You can go back to 30 now, I think. Am 
Right, let's get out of here. There they are. I seen them. <laughs> They're over there. Big pyramids over there. There's two of them together. There's another one. There's another, the two main ones. You just wrecked up my trim now by touching that with the controller. So we're going to set that as how we want to fly. We don't want to go up too high. We're kind of just swinging in between up and down here. Up and down, up and down. It's only the wind, but it doesn't go down too far. So it's all right. I'm not 100% unsure how to do the trim just yet, but it is good. Where's my thing? Oh, there. Mixture. You get it back to about 30. So, about 30% is about there. Just so we're not using too much fuel. And here we go, people. What's that noise? Sorry, cabin pressure. Airport there. Cairo is not too bad. Actually, I know how to do that. General options. <laughs> Silly me. Sound. I like the aircraft noisy when I'm driving it, but you know, you guys might be a bit, uh, don't like it that way. Yeah, it's a little bit lower. You can't go completely low, come on. We're heading straight for them. This is for David. David wanted to see the pyramids in this game. This game is well worth the buy. It is coming out on Xbox and stuff. So it comes out on Xbox uh, July 30. July 27, I think. 27, 30, somewhere around there. I'd have to check it up. And there's the other pyramids down there to the left a bit further. We'll go and have a look at these ones over here because they're the main ones. The other ones, I don't know. If anyone can tell me what that uh, setting is, I think it's a sun glare. Because some of them are pretty, uh, some of them are pretty hectic. It looks pretty good for what what it is you know like come on it's the whole world they got there they can't focus on every single thing but they are doing updates here and there and uh, yeah I thought I'd just get a normal plane then have a uh,
I didn't even check if we got the friggin' lights on. Do we have more lights on? No lights on. <laughs> no lights on. Lights on, mate. Put them on. Idiot. People need to see us. Alright, let's do a bit of descent. Start descending down. Oh yes, please go down a little bit. We start descending down slowly. We don't want to make the people too sick there. Whoa, shit. Too fast. Anyway, let's get in the cab so I can uh, focus on what we're doing. I'm gonna go down here. I did the pyramid once before. we come back we will go a bit closer but what we can do now is go outside and we can go pause the flight we can talk to All right. Okay, so these are the pyramids of Giza. Okay. These are full focused. Like, look at the difference. Like, you, you can't get 100%, but that is pretty good for... Well, I can go inside it. But, I mean, that's just... That's what it looks like on the outside. That's how it all started. They haven't touched any of this. 
Then you got this one over here. That is so cool with the drone camera to be able to do that. And only if you could just do this. I could just do this and go to David right now, take a photo. <laughs> I'll send it to David right now, brother. <laughs> There's your pyramid to give the back. All right, so let's get back to the plane. Wherever we are. Where's our plane? There it is. We're pretty high, actually. Feels like we're very low when I'm flying. But, let's get the camera back. Camera back into external. Unpause. That's what's so good about this game too. You can just unpause it when you feel like it. And away you go, mate. Straight in there. I'll take you and go look at the other ones. I'm going to have a look at the other ones and then I've got to go... Uh, close enough for you. We're going to have a look at the other ones over here. There's a red one too. Or some... some... There's a red one over here. It's something like that. The red pyramid. <laughs> I love this game. This game is so good. I can tell you right now that if you want to get a game that you can go anywhere in the world, this is the game to get. Because this game will let you go anywhere. Performance updates are on the way, so it stops using the CPU as much, and it's going to be using the actual vi vi video card. It's coming out the Xbox. So, if you want to play it, get yourself an Xbox, or you need a really good PC if you want to run it like mine. <laughs> this is uh, very expensive to be able to have visuals like this, but I mean like the ground, the computer can't do anything with the ground right now. The ground is just the ground. That's how it is. can't do anything with the ground until they fix that but it's a flight simulator not a ground simulator I flew over my building it was there I flew over the, my building when the school across the road was getting upgraded it was all construction dirt I flew over it another couple of weeks later it's it was built and it was finished when I went over there when the school was actually finished, I flew over it again. The school building is there. Eventually, little tweaks come to it every now and then, but you don't really notice. But at the moment, they're focusing on other countries. So they did the American. America looks awesome. Let's see out for the wires. You gotta watch out for the wires, mate. Watch the wires. I need a packet of chips. Keep an eye on my height, people tell me if I'm going to hit the ground, but I probably won't see it till it's too late. <laughs> we're slowly going up, but we're going to set that right there. So we'll set that. That's the trim set. I don't really need to set the trim because I do it with the throttle now. So this is supposed to be uh, the red pyramid. I never knew about any red pyramid before, but let's go have a look at this one over here. Mummies are built in this, right? The 
some mummies or something stored inside here. Cleopatra or some shit like that. I don't know. I like when I get three pyramids like that, I get the feature. <laughs> I love the pause feature of the game. That was David calling me before. Sorry about the noise. If I unpause it, my plane will fly. Watch. But we fly with it. We're in drone mode at the moment. So this is the red pyramid. Oh, look at that. I stopped it right with my uh, plane with the shadow of the plane on the pyramid. Isn't that sexy? Like, that's not sitting right, but anyway. That's the Red Pyramid. My drone's pretty quick. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Go over to these ones, and then we'll go to, uh, we've done the pyramids, we've done the blue mountains, we'll go to the Swiss Alps, then we'll go to Rome, and then we'll go to the, the Mount Dice for me, and then we'll go to the Grand Canyon. these are these the main ones or are they those two together are they the main ones like I don't understand why we're just gonna fly over these ones then we're gonna go to the next place look at that mate man-made man-made look at that no machines what they have to do now no chopping down trees so they kill all the birds. They just build it in the middle of nowhere, in the desert. And then they build the town over there, away from everything. And if they want to come out of here and build, build in the desert. What is this over here? This is a gold one. That one's a bit... Uh, Corroded. Now I'm just testing out some stuff to see how easy you can because when I do get the Xbox version I will be playing on the Xbox because I get it for free because it comes to Game Pass so you don't even have to buy the game. All you got to do is get yourself an Xbox and get a Game Pass. Cost you 
$14 a month, you get Xbox Gold, you get over 100 games that you can download for free, you don't need to buy them, you don't need to pay for them, it's all set, and What's this? It's all good. I'm flying with the controller now, but I have to keep adjusting because I don't know how to do the trim in the... with the Xbox. Landing might be a bit more... Like, landing might be a bit more difficult because... I can actually do the slightly touches like this and I can do that to come in and land where with the controller if I was coming in to land it'd be like this and then when I get close to the ground I've got to try to like pull up but it's very touchy unless your controller is really old you'll be able to do it if you get a new controller with your Xbox it's going to be very hard for you to land the plane correctly as if I can come down like this and cut the engine and I'd be able to land beautifully. See? Be able to pull it up just as I'm about to hit the ground softly but with the controller, no. So now we need to find the closest airport and land it down so I get the experience for flying as well. That's uh, definitely that's what we have to do. <laughs> Cars driving in water there. Alright, so. I'm going to try to land the plane. I haven't landed a plane yet with this joystick. But I'm assuming that this is a airport. Traffic choose 666 21424 miles west 700 feet inbound to land runway 1 tree right. I gotta find the runway first. three so I'm going in the right direction we've got to go this way so let's have a look with the map and yes okay Try to get the plane. One three right. Wasn't it this side? Yes, right. You got to give it a bit of speed because uh, you start to lose your wings. Bit of wind there. Don't get scared, just land it.
Break. It's very touchy with the without that other thingy, my bob. Without my other joystick, because I don't have my uh, rudder. Have to use the Xbox controller as my rudder with the right trigger and left trigger. It's very touchy. The ailerons and that are on the uh, joystick. And my brakes are on. <laughs> Where can I park? Anyone here? I don't think anyone's here. Hotel Echo 15 traffic 2666-2142 is taxiing to runway 1 tree right. I'm just announcing because uh, there's other planes. Just announcing which uh, what if I'm coming. Make sure we're not going to get uh, landed on. You know what I mean. Not really much of a airport here. Pretty much a grass field. But we'll go over here. We'll go with the brakes on for a sec. Handbrake. Lock it so we can just sit here for a second. Because we need to find where the lights are. Turn landing lights off. Drives off. Nav off. Uh, we want off, 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 off. Off. Mixed you down. Flaps up. Uh, there's something else I've got to do because it hasn't finished. <laughs> there's something. Avionics, no. Look at this joystick. I need to do something off so then it registers that I've done this. Ah. <laughs> Drive lights work, landing lights work, nothing else works. Push that thingy. Uh, two minute, two thousand. We want to go down up to five hundred. Right there. Peels off. Off. Okay. I don't know. It's really good, all the buttons. See, they should have this in France, man. <laughs> anyway, let's go to, uh, Back to the main menu, and we will go to the Swiss Alps. Now, I don't even know where the Swiss Alps is. Like, 
from taking off an airport. I'm sure it should come up. I have all the ICI codes, but we're going to take it a different plane. So it's ZRH. Zurich. Ha! Switzerland. Here we are, brother. Look at that. We're going to fly this. Look, babe. There's the Alps. I'll fly this whole thing so you can see it. This whole thing, look. Did you see the Snapchat? <laughs> all right so we're gonna go to swiss alps for my wife she wants to see it now i want to take something fast this is pretty fast 611 kilometers uh, we don't want to take one of these i don't want to take a jet because we do want to see it this plane is here we go I haven't taken this plane before this is my new one too there is another new one here I did that one uh, I got another new one we've done that one I think that's new a couple of jets are new too um, well we can go this yeah, I like this plane. If you want to pick a plane, just tell me. We'll go there, mate. We'll go there. Hey, bro, can you do a fly over Cape York? Yeah, I can. I can do it uh, now, actually, because I'm... Uh, I'm... Um, what am I going to say? Come on, spit it out. Find me the closest airport to it. And I'll fly over it now because I'm in Australia so it's already loaded I'm about to go to uh, the Swiss Alps <laughs> Cooper says hello honey <laughs> and uh, yeah so I think we'll take this plane this is the plane I flew last time uh, Cape York all right let's have a look here I've been there before I went to Cairns Queensland, it's further up, it's up the point, isn't it? It's up the top. Uh, let's go out of this. Uh, bring the world around. Why is Australia dark? It's not dark. I don't know what the hell the game is with this. It's not dark in Australia right now. It's like the world is weird. Anyway. I don't know what time scale we got on. What time is this? What's UTC? Why is it set to UTC? I really don't understand. Let me just go back quickly. I want to go in and do the time. Um, what, what is our time? <laughs> Stunt plane. Yeah, right. I'll fly the... Uh, a little yellow little red one um where is the time traffic data flight accessories development so yeah everything's all on ultra but they keep adding this other stuff and my computer just puts it to the highest resolution i don't know which one to turn down to stop that glariness but i'll deal with that shit later not now i've got so many places I gotta go. 
I've uh, been fiddling around since half past seven this morning to get my brand new controller with the right buttons and to... you just don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. I really don't know how to do this time. Data? No. I want to do the time so it's not whatever the hell it is. UTC. Because um, we're in daylight. Here we go. Music. No, not music. Voices. Let's just turn the aircraft down a little bit because it's still a bit loud for you guys. I don't care how loud it is, really. I like to feel that I'm in the plane. Uh, cockpit. This, this, this. Wide angle. Auto. Camera shake. Phone it. This. Instruments. No. Graphics. It's not in here either, is it? Textures, blooms, motion blur, lens. Motion blur, maybe? Is that... Could that be off? I don't know. Data. Online functionality. Live weather. Real live traffic. Multiplayer's on. Uh, this is... Tri track and this is like uh rolling cash it's what i've got saved i've got 88 gigs of uh, data saved in my hard drive for whenever i go to the place it's already there don't have to redo it and it updates as it goes if they if they fixed up something new well then you do it but to do all this you're not going to be able to do any of this on the computer i mean on the um xbox but this game is coming to Xbox, and I was just using the controller not long ago. It's really good. Um, let's just not worry about the time. Yeah, apply the settings. Whatever I change, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome. So we've got st activities. You got world. I'm going to use that plane. Yeah, you want to use that plane there? Because it's a delay in the stream, so I'll wait for your reply. That plane's the best stump plane I have. <clears throat> let's go into uh, here and find let's just go into here isn't that Cape York up here I don't even know there's airports out here man look at this there's airports out here and there's one like on this island That'd be a mad island take. Look at that runway. Look how small that runway is. What are you going to take off of there? Alright. That's Cape York there. Yeah. It's not going to look fancy because they haven't really... They haven't gone into Australia yet. The flight conditions will be live. All players. Live traffic preset live you dumb stop changing that and what's this utc shit let's go custom let's go i don't know what utc is live it's not 5 20 a.m Saturday the 3rd of July 2021, 5.20am, we want to go live, it's not 5am, I don't know what the hell that time is, unless my computer's not set to the right time, <laughs> whatever, let's get a plane, stunt plane eh, type of one of those, they're not really stunt plane, Stump planes down here. <sighs> this bad boy. I don't know if I got a stunt plane. That's about the best stunt plane we have. <laughs> UTC is American time. Okay. Well, I'm flying in Australia, so it should be live. Live. Uh, live weather but it's telling me that it's 5 a.m in the morning it's not 
I should be having the time that's exactly outside, so I gotta go check and see my computer. I think my computer's on the wrong time. Yellow? Flight simulator one. The red one's the best. Well, maybe that one. Three stripes. Give that one again. All right, Cape York. Let's find it. I need to get on to... Uh... Cape York, mate. Which is... All the way up here is Cape York, right there. So the, uh, the best place to take off would probably be here. But uh, that's going to be a big runway. And yeah, that'll be all right. Let's just take off there and we'll fly up. AEST. It might sort itself out. Yeah, it could do. I could I could also have my computer on the wrong setting of a time. And therefore it's putting it into the into this, but I'll try to figure that out when I'm not not later. I can always change the the time to daylight so we can see the ship. I can put it on live traffic when I'm landing on the ground and it'll go to our time, but when we come back out it always goes back to the other one. And we're not we're not five AM in the morning. <laughs> Unless I'm still asleep doing this. <laughs> anyway. You should get this on Xbox, man. I'm going to get it on Xbox and we can do a uh, nice flight together. Yeah, see now, look look at the time. The time is the time what it is in, uh, in there. All right, this is, a, this is a beast to try to take off because you know how they sit. They sit down on their bum, so the pilot can't see nothing until he starts moving. So this is it here. We're going to do over Cape York for requests for uh, one of my followers on uh, Twitch. All the other ones, I'm going to upload this to YouTube because all the YouTube people want to see these places where I'm going today. I tried to look at Great Barrier Reef. It's not put in there yet. I tried to look at uh, <laughs> the three sisters look like melted into the actual ground. All right, better get that up. This prop don't work. Let me get in here quick because I've got to see which ones actually work. That that works. We need that on for the time being. Actually, that. That's good. Yeah, good. Whoa, shit! Mother! Okay, let's just take off over here. This thing takes off quick, mate! Holy Jesus! Calm down! Look at this thing! This wants to eat the sky! Christ! Just wants to eat the sky, mate. See you later. He's gone. He says. Oh yeah, that's a stunt plane, all right. Well, we can't do that yet. <laughs> We're uh, flying in the red, so I gotta let the air come, let the revs come down. Yeah, don't don't kill yourself yet trying to be a fruit loop. Let's just go do the Cape York stuff. <laughs> that uh, I didn't even know. When you look on the map, this island doesn't look this big. But look at these runways. See the um, thingies? Why is my flaps not working? Does this not have flaps? My flaps won't go up or down. If 
very touchy it's very good with the uh, with the yoke so cool because I can land really good let's just get the uh, put that back that's the ribs okay that's the throttle, throttle quadrant and then we can get the let me go in the cab quick because I need to just put this uh, mixture to 30% Around 30, that's all right. Otherwise, we use too much fuel. See the difference now? The, now it's starting to drop down. It's not pumping so much fuel in. It starts to level itself out a little bit, you know. Puzzle, get off! Jesus Christ! All right, let me look up. I want to look up, <laughs> and then we're gonna go. Hello. Wait. I want to get it upside down. Oh shit. Now we're upside down flying. <laughs> See? Oh shit! God damn it. No, we're dead now. We're dead. We're dead, bad. <laughs> oh, let's restart that. Fly upside down. That's what happens when you fly upside down, brother. <laughs> Oh shit. I'll have to do it from outside. Imagine if I took you for a ride in my brand new plane and we uh oh, look I can fly upside down, crash, we're dead. Now I gotta get ready for this. Uh oh. We just stopped the goddamn plane now. What have you done, Coop? Yeah! <laughs> Firing proof fiery crash all right brother mate we were cactus so you don't even have to put this plane on full throttle straight away you just got to get the back wheel off the ground then hit it and take off <laughs> of course I'm getting my uh, I'm getting my feet I'm getting my foot pedals, they're getting delivered. Um, my foot pedals are getting delivered. And then I'm going to have the button controls as well. So I'm going to have the full setup. What the f are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Whoa, she just does it, brother. Look at that. That's a full loop for us there. I didn't even do that. That was just having the accelerator on full. You have to keep hold of this thing. Now, we're going to put this leveled out because we're going to fly it ourselves. There we go. Let's go do Cape York. We have too much fun in this. Ah, yes. Helicopters are coming. Uh, full performance update is coming as well on the release of the Xbox. The Xbox gets released over the 27th or 30th of this month. You can pre order it right now. Uh, helicopters are coming, Black Hawk helicopters, all of it's coming, brother. Everything that can fly will be in this eventually. Um, as I was flying the F 18 at the start of the video, I was saying. Out there somewhere is an aircraft carrier you can land on. So that's going to be fun. That's an update coming when the Xbox gets released. That gets released because that is in the Xbox. So then it gets released onto the PC. The thing I found out about uh, the X, the brand new Xbox, Xbox One X, One XS, is. That is going to have ray tracing in it and the PC version of this game will not get it for another couple of months. So the Xbox One XS is going to be running better than my PC for a little while. So you can imagine that the ray tracing is makes the ground look awesome. 
So right now, the Xbox One X, everybody's saying we just went out and brought all these mad PCs and then they bring out a console that's better than a PC. And they said, well, we're sorry about that, but should have waited. <laughs> we should have waited. No. Oh, uh, maybe, but I'm buying it on... Uh, I'm uh, getting it on Xbox as well because it's coming to Xbox Game Pass for free. Mate, you don't even have to buy the game. It is coming to Xbox Game Pass for free. You only have to pay $14 a month. I pay $14 a month for Xbox Gold to go on multiplayer on any game I want to go on. I get 100 games downloaded for free. When it, and Forza 5, uh, Forza Horizon 5 is free on launch if you've got Game Pass. So Game Pass is really good because otherwise if you don't, you would have to go buy that game for a hundred hundred and twenty five bucks and if you buy four games in a year you're paying more than what you would if you're paying 14 bucks a month oh yeah so many games i have xbox too brother i don't give up on xbox i'm not a i'm not a full pc player i'm only playing this because it's not out on pc i mean xbox yet and i play satisfactory that is not coming to console and American truck and Euro truck now that flight simulator is coming the main people of American truck and uh, Euro truck actually have not denied they did not deny it they didn't say nothing it wasn't coming they didn't deny that it was but they didn't say it, it definitely would not be when uh, Squirrel actually asked the guy who owns the, the business of Euro Truck and American Truck, asked him the question, he never said no. And he said, if it does, we have to get all the kinks out of it first, then it'll come. But he never said it's not. So after Microsoft comes, ATS and ETS will be coming to console. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, they are. See, the ground is a little bit uh, hairy, but I mean, we're not we're not in a ground simulator. We're in a uh, flight simulator, so I reckon they've done pretty good, man. I'm telling you now, because. They did the update on Sydney, Brisbane, um, Melbourne, and that. But here's your Cape York, brother. I just flew over it. There's not really much up here. <laughs> Kangaroos down there, look. And the grass. There is wildlife in here, you just gotta find it. You go to Africa, and you can see the giraffes and shit running. I didn't see any kangaroos, but I'm just joking. <laughs> I wish. I'm going to show you Sydney now, because you haven't seen Sydney yet. Uh, I'm going to go to Sydney Airport right now. So we'll go to Sydney Airport right now so I can show you the up what what how the when I first got the game okay when I first got the game the harbor bridge was flat and when you see there was no center point tower the only thing the only thing when you first start the game before they did the updates um the only thing that was there was Sydney Opera House. It was the only thing you've seen. You didn't see the, the Harbour Bridge was just a flat bit of concrete. And there was no centre point tower and half the buildings that were there didn't even look like Sydney. Alright. Now the updated version looks exactly of like Sydney and the Crown Casino is there. So let's take a flight. Um I'm not going to fly this plane because you, it'll just keep flying up. I'll fly something nice. Just so we can uh, thingy. I'll take uh, this. 
because this can land in water okay this is the boat a boat plane I can land this on the wall put my fl uh, wheels up land it on land or land on water so I'll take this one we'll take it in uh, farming simulator because I'm trying to get people to buy it but could you imagine like you connecting th uh, two controllers to one Xbox I connect two controllers to another two Xbox and four of us just get in the same planes and fly because I would put my screen here, your screen there. And if you ha have two Xboxes, you can invite another couple of people. Like I've got three Xboxes, so I can invite, uh, I can invite heaps of people to play on all my different profiles and just have them all in the same house. So that'd be good. Anyway, let's just do this. So after we fly over Sydney, I'm going to the Swiss Alps for my uh, wife and then from the Swiss Alps I'm going to Rome for my wife's sister and then I'm going to the Maldives for me then I'm going to the Grand Canyon so I got to get all that done and see this this is Sydney this is live traffic here that's a that's a online player when you see a white a white plane that's actually someone landing in Sydney in real life it's real live everything it is unbelievable like all players so you can turn on there or AI groups I got live traffic so that means that I can watch where a plane's flying over my house if I got in drone mode and this is live weather so see now it's 3 38 p.m. 5 a.m. UTS why why are you doing this to me? Well, let's just take off. I could talk to you about this game all day too. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good, man. All right, so we're going to take off this runway because they're all coming in with the big 747s. So re when you're playing multiplayer like this, you actually have to tell when you're going to land on an air airfield, okay? Um, you can't just land here and then drive through a plane because there's some bloke at home controlling all these multiplayer people and if you start mucking around in the server they'll kick you out and you can't come back in so all these people here are real live players and they're talking to the atc guy in the uh tower in real life so i take off on this one because you can see they're all coming in taking off this guy's going to try to land there then touch and go and before I go in if I just put this over here set as departure I can see it. no one's going to come in there see he's waiting so I'm going to go over here set as departure fly and then I'm going to let them know I'm there but they will already know this they will know I'm there straight away because they'll see me come in and they'll say my name I'll, I'll when my pilot will automatically say my name straight away, but then I have to, I have to clear clear the takeoff. Alpha nineteen, eh? Yeah, mine's two triple six, brother. C H U six six six, and it's written on my plane six six six. <laughs> yeah, my aircraft on uh, Air, Air Manager. So if you look here aircraft manager it gives me jobs to do so i'm not just doing what i'm doing now i can actually go to an airport pick up cargo deliver the cargo and then thingy so that's pretty good can you please get off my screen now thank you <laughs> so yeah we'll just load up sydney because sydney's like sydney's like america well, it's not like America when you when you look at the assets that are on the ground, but there's a lot of assets in Sydney. So it's taking it from the cash, reloading it so it doesn't have to load it. So when you first start the game and you're loading up like this and you think, oh, this is shit because it's taken so long to load, it needs to load the whole world first, then it puts you where you are. 
because I save all my stuff onto the cache, so then all I got to do is get in and fly it, and it, it, it remembers it. It's loading all that right now, so it's loading Australia. So I can just get in my plane, I could fly right around Australia if I wanted to, and it'll all be there. So I wouldn't have to keep going into load screen. So it's loading all of Australia right now. So when I go to the Swiss Alps, it's loading all of the Swiss Alps. And it'd take half the time as if you got onto my laptop and tried to play this. You'd be here. I might as well start it at 2 o'clock in the morning and I'll come at 7 and still be going. <laughs> does, the, does, the, does it make the PC work hard? At the moment, yes. But mine still runs. A lot of PCs, people will say, oh, I need to put it down on... Um, uh, easy, easy difficulty. I can't run it on Ultra because it uh, my CPU and my uh, RAM can't handle it. I had two RAM in there. I was using 30 RAM, and uh, I played this game and I went to America because everyone said they can't fly over America. There's too many things on the ground, and my computer froze and it stuck. I was running at 98% uh, with 30 RAM. And my CPU was at, uh, I think, 68. I went and brought two more RAMs, and now it's running at uh, 60, 60, 60 RAM. And I only use half of that, and my CPU still runs at 40. And I can still run at 60 frames per second in, in uh, America. Some parts you can't because it's just there's too much, but even the toppest range PC... That people have spent 10 grand their computers still it still drags their computers down and these people have triple video cards link interlinked together like I, I can put another two video cards in this and interlink them together too but it's uh it all comes down to the uh the main main end tech i can put another four more um ram on here if i want to but now it only runs at half. Sydney Tower CHU 6662142 ready for straight out departure at runway 3. Get down, right. mate. You can't get up here because you push freaking buttons. In a minute. Just give me a second. I've got to do something. All right, so let's see what they're going to say here. We're clear for takeoff. See, when you start like this, it automatically gives you clear for takeoff. Soon as you take off over the other side there, they will uh, let you go. And they'll say you're out of my airspace. But when you start at a parking area, you have to ask to be here. Way, buddy! Whew. Lucky I didn't start going just then, bro. I would have got cleaned up by a 747. <laughs> that was hectic. Woo! Oh, yeah, the 3070. I'm only running a 20. I'm only running the 2080. I run it fine. I've just got a bigger motherboard, that's all. I got the top of the range and I'm running i9. I got an i9 processor, not an i7. I don't believe in i7, brother. I got a top of the range or it's not gonna go in my computer. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend the money if it's gonna have um, second hand parts in it. Not for me. the wrong thing to do all right we're gonna fly it out we'll level it out in a second we just got to get up over the thingy so this is Sydney Airport I'll zoom it out a bit it's gonna stretch the uh, visuals for a second but when we go back near Sydney I'll scream it back in I just want to see let you see over this put my flaps up so it stops dragging me and we'll get this back to level all right so we're going out is my gear going in or coming out did my gear go in uh, now it goes in 
Okay, that was dragging me back. So this is Sydney Airport. There's the M5. Right there. Goes down into the tunnel. Over the runways. See? The parking area that you have in Sydney Airport. There's the tower. There's the big boy there taking off. He's a flight simulator guy as well. Let's get this uh, rev down because it's starting to burn up in the uh, show guys. So they're all live players down there. And then you've got main Sydney Airport over there. International Airport there. And then you've got the tunnel right here. They're the planes that usually sit. There's the tunnel, goes down underneath, comes back out over the other side. So it's pretty good. It's pretty fucking full on, brother, I'm telling you. This has all been upgraded, but this has all been highly detailed, ready to go. Eventually they will have the, um, eventually they will have the AI traffic on the ground actually doing what it needs to be doing. But right now, they're focusing on just getting the uh, assets and stuff looking a little better. Like the outskirts and stuff like that. So, this is Sydney. This is our air. This is our town, brother. This is our town. You know how many people come in this game to here? Mate, thousands of people have been coming to fly this game here. I don't know if that's going to be it. We're going to have a look. We'll have a quick gander at that. The old speedway's there. I go over it all the time. Will you have a look here? Opera House was the only thing that was here before and these buildings. None of these buildings were here. There's the Crown Casino, right there. All of these buildings have all been done from about that area there, all the way in and out that way. So somebody got sat there and actually put all these buildings where they needed to be and custom made them. And uh, <clears throat> it even has the Westfield the Westfield sign on Centerpoint Tower and all the Phillips lights, the uh, Westfield light, the NAB light and all the lights that are in the city at night, they actually come on. I don't know if I can do it now. Let's just see. There you go, brother. That's the night time of Sydney CBD in the air, bro. Look at that, mate. <laughs> That's what it looks like in the air. We don't see it like that when we're on the ground. That is crazy, isn't it? And that is crazy how you can change from day. This uh, uh, Sydney Terminal Central Station, right there. All right. Let's. Uh... Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. And the best part about this game is, I can pause it, right here, go into the camera, showcase, free camera, drone it, and now we can fly around Sydney as far as much as we like, let's get the drone speed up a bit, just so we can actually have a look, and let's get rid of that. Now my plane stays there. And nothing around me actually can see my plane. Like the multiplayer people can't see my plane when we're on uh, thingy. But this is what this guy's done, bro. He sat there. And he has done this to how it is. Like the ground down there is not good. But that's where they're doing the... That's the construction site where they're doing the underground tunnel. See, look. I don't know if it's going to look any good, but... We can have a look. That's where the tunnel. That's where the uh, the tra tram trains are going to go to the uh, northern beaches. There, that's the stuff. But I mean, from up here, this is where you want to look at it because that's 
what it's meant to look like. And there's the on-ramp that comes up onto the bridge. See the Marriott uh, Shangri-La is, where's the Shangri-La there? Shangri-La's right there, bro. I stayed in this room. Hang on, go down a bit. I stayed in, whoa, not that room. I stayed in that room there on my on my um, wedding night that Epping Club paid for free. Here you can hear all the noise. If you go low enough, you can hear the truck. See the truck going past, you'll hear it in a minute. It doesn't look as good, but the bridges do. What happened before, before they did the upgrade, you see the road underneath the bridge? That's what it that's what it used to look like. All right, they've got the ferries in there now. They never had the ferries there before. Um and then let's just have a look quick look at the center point tower. Like that building there even has that weird roof. I've seen that building. That roof does look like that. Um there's the Westfield sign right there and there's the uh the thing that comes out and it's got the glass floor so good man it's well done like even here that building down there that's still there i, I like what he done with the um thingy 2a like even there on the roof how he done the uh train station like you can't really see it but i mean it looks pretty good even with the sheds like they're close to the ground but when you're up here it actually looks like pretty good eh? <laughs> oh mate he's he took uh i think this year this game has been in the making for eight years the guy that did this has been working on it see look here's a guy going in his plane look there's old mate going there He's going in the land in Sydney. Um, I think he took eight months to build this to Google Maps exactly how it is. Down to the uh, aircon. <laughs> I like the yacht that they throw in there like this. Like, see, when you're up in the air, it, it, that's all he did was put areas up like that and then put stuff next to it and it looks better but from here it looks like it's it's level you know what i mean that's how they put it in there harbour bridge absolutely amazing down to the two flags should have my flag up the top there the aboriginal flag but you know i'll let them go with that i'll let them go and see how when he's put the bridge in there properly you can see the traffic goes, but they are going to fix the AI so it's not driving down a railway line. <laughs> you see him driving in the water and shit. Like Luna Park, he hasn't fixed that up yet, but that's in the making. He's still doing Luna Park, but they reckon they're going to take Luna Park away anyway, so... And then North Sydney. North Sydney just got mainly big buildings. You can see where he's rendered. You see from here, that's where it used to be. That's how it used to look. Um, let me get my mouse. That's how it used to look from this way. And he's put all that in there to put his assets. So he's made it look a little better like that compared to that water and how the dock is on the ground. <laughs> so he spent a lot of time. But, I mean, that's pretty good. And this is what they're doing all over the world. They take a certain area. They take a certain place in um, a state. And, mate, they just do it. This was already there. But he fixed the sails up so they're green like they really are. Upper here. And then you got the big... Uh, the big boy in here. Container ship. See, this will be there. 
right next time i come into the game it won't be there it doesn't move eventually they're going to get them to actually be moving slowly to on a to where it's got to go but right now last time i came in here it was a big tanker full of concrete now it's uh just that but you know that ship don't you brother that ship's still there they put that there that's always sitting at the docks unless it's uh gonna go out and attack something but there it is eh? come up this way and then we've got uh king's cross brah looks as filthy as this too <laughs> king's cross is up here it's not to life but that's yeah hello there's no girls out but <laughs> all right now we'll go to uh let's let's go back to uh power unpause it that whole time it's been paused hasn't really done anything to my game nothing you can pause it for as long as you like All right, we're going to go inside for a second. Because we're going to go down here. And we're going to do something that we haven't... Uh, you haven't seen before, brother. Well, you haven't been in a plane that's done this. I guess you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> we're going under the harbour bridge, my friend. Right past Opera here. Oh yeah. Come on now. FedEx. FedEx is coming in. Oh shit. Okay, can't do that. <laughs> can't go under it. I'll I never tried that before, otherwise I wouldn't have done that. But yeah. Can't go under it. FedEx. <laughs> FedEx seven 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 coming in for landing. Yeah, good on you, brother. Bring all those uh, COVID packages. You know, the FedEx 777 could have been a real plane then. Landing at Sydney Airport. Could have had the vaccines that are coming. <laughs> you never know, man. Because when it's an online player, when they talk to an online player, they say it like mine. They're all weird names. FedEx 777 was a, probably a real flight. I couldn't tell you, but maybe it could have been. Oh, shit. We've got a plane right in front of us. He'll be right. As long as I'm not taking off before someone lands. Puzzle, don't get up right now, mate. I'm trying to struggle to keep this plane straight, mate. No. Watch him. Hello, buddy. And the Cessna, he should have been taken off at Bankstown. So should have I. Stupid. Should have took off at Bankstown. All right. Put the wheels up. Flaps up. Okay, the flaps are still down a little bit. Nut flaps are gone now. I just want to show you something else quick. I oh, know, we'll do it when we get closer to para. It's so good with the yoke, but you know, you can actually hold it up. Actually, I'll keep this going as it is. Because this one doesn't actually get... He doesn't actually get... Uh, the engine never gets into the... Uh, red and he goes faster someone's flying really low to the ground over there look they're really low you can see the light actually I gotta make sure I got my lights on There's no, they haven't been working because you uh, 
when you start off the runway straight away, your lights don't uh, get put on. You need to put them on yourself. Otherwise, if you start in a uh, in a parking area, you'll be fine. Um, because you just go down here and flick them all on there. Strobe, nav, taxi, and land. I don't need landing lights. Oh yeah, I need landing lights. I don't need taxi. Um, you know, got to leave landing lights on until you're at least, I think it's uh, 3,000 feet. Then you can take landing lights off. If you're flying lower than 3,000 feet, you got to keep your landing lights on all the time. But yeah, you get over to Parramatta. I gotta locate the M4 and then we'll go down it. That's the George's River, isn't it? What's that river? No, that's not the George's River. Or is it? Maybe it is. Did you know about the reservoir in uh, Blacktown? I showed my friend, and he goes, what's that reservoir, what's that big water thing there? I said, that's a reservoir. He goes, oh, really? I said, that's why it's called Reservoir Road. And he's going, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so we'll go over here. We might just start to turn this down. A little bit so we start going down not up that's up you moron down is that way there we go we will do that Sydney Tower 2666 frequency change uh, nearest airport. Let's just go Bankstown. Bankstown Airport. Uh, no. Let's go back and we'll go Camden. Camden Tower 2666-2142 is type icon 856 miles north of Sydney, 2000 feet. Requesting transition. 2666-2142 transition approved. Report clear of Camden Tower airspace. Beautiful back. Yeah. Acknowledge. We'll report clear 2666-2142. See that airport will now keep track. That airport will now keep track of me, so I can uh, fly around and if he says anything wrong, well then he'll tell me. And you get the chatter of uh, other planes, like flying along and stuff. And it's really good when you go into an actual multiplayer game, because it's actual person talking that you have to push the space bar to talk. Like when I'm talking now, they can't hear me. But when I call out, I'm gonna go to it. I have, I have to call out all this. So, if I need to say request and touch and go, I don't push this. I push the space bar, requesting touch and go at Camden Tower airspace, <laughs> and then they they talk back. It's pretty cool. You'd like it. I know you'd like it. You can't wait for Speedway 2022, mate. It's coming. I'll get on there and I'll show you how to race, bro, in the dirt. See, that's how the grounds are in certain places. They have to fix that bridge there later. It's only a railway bridge, so they weren't really worried about it. Actually, no, that's the uh, road from Bingy. 
That's Homebush. Yeah, I'll get in there. I'll get in there and I'll show you, but I'll get on the dirt. I don't want to do that eye racing, bro, because I'm not that good. If I'm going to do it, I want to do it not multiplayer. Got to get used to it. I get stuck on my game, see? I play different games all the time. I'm assuming we're coming towards Parramatta now, down the river. There's a ferry. Ha! It's under the water, but look, that's a good good little thing from up here. It looks like a ferry. It's a submarine ferry, that one. <laughs> oh goodness. Here comes the racetrack here. There's the there's the um What's the call it? Rose Hill Racetrack, right next to my house, the Speedway. I don't know if we'll see the uh, upgraded part yet. We probably won't see that the normal Speedway is still there. Well, the normal Speedway still is still there, but. I'll tell you, if I go over my house and the construction of the school is still there, that means they haven't fixed up the old speedway. But there's the racetrack. There's my house down near, bro. Over there. And we come across the speedway. And this is where the helicopters land to refuel. I see that every day. They're not changing that. That's staying there. They're going to work around that. Not. They're going to work around that, I guess. There's the M4. And it does have the new bridge on both. See that car? <laughs> They're up the top, then they go down. <laughs> uh, coming up my street. Nah, the construction's still there. There's my building. It's, it's a little bit smaller than what it is, but still there. <laughs> oh shit, what's going on here? Why are we going down? Oh no, the trim's gone again. Oh, there we go. Parramatta. Parramatta Station. There's a lot more taller buildings in Parramatta, so until they uh, come and do the updates for that, that's pretty much the height of them. But then again, it's a flight simulator, not a... Uh... <laughs> I'd have to have a look, actually. I haven't really... No, no, I haven't. It's not there. Because uh, they've put the new 40Ks line over it, brother. And they retard the road. They're going to put speed dumps in. Well, let's go and have a look anyway. Eastern Creek's up here. Whoa. That was hectic. I don't think we can do it in this plane. I'll give it a go. Nah. <laughs> she ain't going over. Okay. <clears throat> You'll have to come back for sure, man. I'm sure there's a lot of people do it out there already. <laughs> Clowns in their cars. I remember the day that uh, someone got pulled over and I just got home in the truck and uh, there was a guy getting pulled over just near where my driveway is and uh, we could hear this hear this car coming up the road <coughs> comes around the corner and the cop goes you here now it went fuck <laughs> he got busted hard because they could hear him coming up the road and he was painting it busted him hard all right so where is this thing now i don't even know where the speedway is here I didn't even know that golf course was there. Anyway. Is that Eastern Creek Raceway, yeah?
the raceway is there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see it either. I'll just let it fly over. If we don't see it, I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the Alps, fly over the Alps, and then uh, thingy. Got a few more places to go. Fly over the Alps, the Maldives, Grand Canyon, and Rome. All in and out. All in two. All in two hours. Because I, I don't know why. Hey, do you know um, how to make it so my stream just keeps going for longer? Because I can only it only streams for four hours and kicks me out. Do you know how I change that? There's a water park down below us. I never knew the I knew reservoir was there. I never knew it was that big. And if you look at where the M4 is, how down it is, if that ever breaks, that is going to flood Blacktown hardcore. Yeah, you could fly right beside me, man. Like, we could almost touch wings. Yeah, racetrack's here. Where's the speedway going to be, but is it going to be here or out here? There's the speedway there, and there's the go kart track. There's the drag track. This is uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. All right. Now, all right, then, brother. I'll just do four. There's uh, see that there? Look. That's my figure eight I tried doing in my car the other day. Look, there. <laughs> Speedway's going to be here somewhere, yeah? Or here? No, that's that's not there. It'll be here most probably. I don't know. Oh, okay. Over here. In there. Just demolish that and let us get into there. <laughs> Gonna be bigger? Well, I need to find the uh, find the closest airport. Uh, where are we? No, I don't want to do this now. I don't want to land at Camden. I just want to land at an airport. Where's an airport close to here? Kingswood Park Airport. Right there, brother. Let's have a look at that then. What's this King Kingswood Park Airport shit? That's not real, is it? I can see it on the grass there. See the strip? We're going in back. We should actually, you know what? I wonder. Yeah, let's do it. Let's land on the drag strip. <laughs> That's long enough. I reckon we can do it. Let's do it.
Uh oh. Too fast. Calm down, calm down. Alright, where's the drag strip at? It's actually just there. So let's go. I'm gonna try and land on the drag strip though. I don't know how this is gonna fare out, but we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Where's the drag strip at? I've lost it. Where the fuck is the speedway and shit? Over that way. There. There it is over here. <sighs> We're going the right way. Should be. I'll locate it first. Somewhere here. I don't think I can land it there because it's thing that let's go over here. What's this place here? That's the racetrack. I've lost my uh I've lost my thing. <laughs> because I didn't have the engine going hard enough, I lost my turning. So the racetrack looks good from up above, but down here it's uh pretty hairy. Still grassy. I told you you could still land it. Landed on the main straight, yeah. We did. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Well, calm down. You're gonna take off. Can't say you've driven a plane around the uh, racetrack before, huh? There's a speedway. Hey, drag strip there, bruh. 
Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Bridge. Bridge. Stop. Oh, we can go under it. Lucky. <laughs> Pulled them all in seven seconds, brother. Hold on, brother. I'm trying to land a plane in it. Wait, pal. You got. It. You make sure when you land the the plane in uh, water, you have to have enough runoff because there's no brakes. So you gotta make sure there's enough runoff to do it. If you don't, well. It just keeps going. <laughs> you can still steer it, but. Slow down, brother. That's why you got to have enough runoff to. Uh... <coughs> oh, the speed will be at that end. Okay. Just open up the window, go for a fish. <laughs> I got no throttle. <laughs> She's not stopping. There we go. I love the way my uh, <laughs> now we're going fishing. Yeah, now we're gonna go get. Uh... Whew, that was fun. It's actually good when you got someone talking to you. All right, so we're gonna go to Swiss Alps for my wife. I have to do it, otherwise I'm not gonna sleep on the couch. <laughs> Uh, she wouldn't do that. Uh-oh. I just found a packet of french fries. Look out. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, please. You know, most of the day, I've been setting up Um, I do have one. Gotta work out how to do it. Swiss Alps. What was the Swiss Alps? The Swiss Alps was ZRH. Z, that's R. Z, R, H. Zurich. I like my bird. So we're going to take off, we're going to fly down this way, we're going to come back, we're going to go along there. Or we'll just go around the island and then across the top. So we need a fast plane. Or a jet. I think we might take the Skyhawk. Rah. Take the Skyhawk. Rah. The Interceptor. <laughs> yeah, she's good, man. She's good. She's good. She's at work now, working on the uh, thingy. That's why the computer's a little bit slow loading up. But All right, so let's fly. Swiss Alps. I'll do this half an hour. Well, I'll do this flight. And I'll uh, stop the stream. And then I'll start a new one straight away because it's already 2 hours and 30 minutes. This will take half an hour. And then I'll stop this one. And then I'll go straight away, start a new one for the Grand Canyon and to fly around Rome and the Maldives yeah the Maldives Grand Canyon and Rome and in the next stream I just got to take off what I've already flown so the Great Barrier Reef uh, the Alps and leave the Maldives oh, Cairo Swiss Alps and um, Great Barrier Reef, I need to take off the title and leave the Grand Canyon, Rome, and Mount Ice. But yeah, she loads up pretty good, the uh, thing. So it's loading up the whole, the whole country over there, and it's only taken that long. It's pretty good to load up a full country. I don't know where that is. I don't know if that's in the Alps, where he, where that plane is actually flying right now. Maybe it is. You know what I find hard about this game? Actually, the good thing about it in this game, me and you can actually do the bush trips, bro. We can actually get in there and then get a multiplayer going where we can do the bush trips, where you actually have to use a timer. So you got to fly northeast for nine minutes, and then you got to take the the highway that goes to the left for another seven minutes and then you got to try to find the the runway to land you know what i mean it's really um the bush trips are full on man they're full on straight out all right watch this thing <laughs> this thing nuts Take off runway 160HU 666 Oh no. Don't even hear it. Listen. Stealth, bruh. Is it running? Oh, it's starting up.
you serious? It's still starting up. <laughs> Listen to it. Here we go, bro. That is nuts. And that's it. We don't even have to use any. We're gone. Holy shit. Slaps up. You don't even get time to get your wheels up. Does these wheels go up? Get your wheels up, mate. Holy shit, boys. Get those G forces happening. <laughs> I'm leaving your airspace, all right, brother. I'm gone. Ready? Have a listen to this. Have a listen to this. When he, when I go up really fast, you can hear the guy choking on the G forces. Oh, he doesn't do it in this one. Upside down, my brother. This time we're not going to crash. Whoa, yeah. Alright, what have we got down here? Don't go up. His wheels stay down. There we go. That's leveled out. Turn that on. That's just a little bit loud, bro. That might be hurting your ears. <laughs> I don't really care. I like the sound of that thing. The aircraft engine. Just turn this one down. My wife won't watch it if it's that loud. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. That's better. All right, so we'll fly along here. This is the Alps. A lot of farm area. Hey, that's better. We're on Mark One right now, brother. We're 500. We are 526 kilometers an hour, but we're in the red. We should be calming it down a bit. That's in the red's not good because it's doing damage to the engine. Very nice water. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much. <laughs> we used to do that heat quick. Whoa, what happened there? 
No, I don't want that. Go out a bit so I can see what the hell I'm doing here. We're going too quick for the computer, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's only the internet, but the internet, uh, my wife's working from home as well, so the internet's a bit, uh, what's it, this flight, at this height. If I start to go up, you'll see a difference. Otherwise, it'll kick her off her work. That was crazy, it's doing like 500 kilometers an hour there. Level out, 10 south and we'll do it. No, no. money down calm down bro calm down you don't have to break the record well the wind up here is hectic Listen to the noise, it's like... <sighs> All these mountains here have actually been fixed to make Um, the right height of the mountains. I'm starting work for myself on the side. Let me know if you have much work on. Got to do flat packs. <laughs> much work on. I'm booked out to the 20th. I just did two jobs um, yesterday and the day before. thousand bucks make sure you get uh, mock your butt the first thing you got to do bro make sure you get insurance bro you go into their house the scratches will already be there, but they'll try to blame you. Somebody tried to blame me for scratching the uh, mahogany floor. But what they didn't know is I go into the house, when I go into the bedroom, if there's any damage on the wall, I'll take a photo and I'll show them first. So the husband came home and tried to blame me for doing it. I already showed the wife the scratch. Um, she wasn't home, I already showed the wife the scratch before I started my work. But if you don't do that, they will blame you for shit that's already done, mate. 
I'm telling you now. I don't know how to say that name. <laughs> Something mill. Whoa. See that? That was hectic. That wind was like nuts. That was crazy. Almost pushed my plane out the ground. I don't know if there's any towns over there. We will have a look and see. I don't want that, I want this. Okay, so the towns are in here. I think this is where you, uh, this is where you, um, This is the place that you, it's like base camp. Fuck. It's the, uh... Whoa, what are you doing, mate? Showing off. Come on, brother. Calm down, man. in this thing. Far out. There's the eject button. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Fighter jet, you're flying a fighter jet. The Alps are big, man. They're huge. You get lost in here, you're gonna have some frozen nuggets. <laughs> Your little prawn's gonna fall off. <laughs>
There's the Alps for you, honey. The Alps. Beautiful day. Lovely day in the Alps. Anyway, let's get back to the back of it. As you've seen, it looked like, oh yeah, the map, the map looks really, you look at the Swiss Alps and it's like tiny. When you're flying around it, it's not tiny. I'm doing 223 kilometers, not an hour. That's pretty quick. He doesn't do it. In the other plane, he goes. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the G forces. Almost 500. Four eighty seven, four ninety. Just cracked five hundred. About to crack at. Let's go down past this town real quick. Look at this. Imagine going down like this with one of these and then going You would smash all their windows, bruh. You would absolutely smash every window in that town. <laughs> Sigh on. What's this over here? Airport over here too.
See how scary it is when we're in the plane. Oh shit! Pull up! Pull up! <laughs> Cruising through the Alps for you, honey. That's so good. There's a glacier. Uh, we're going to try to land this bad boy at the next airfield. Here's the biggest point right there. Here when it got close to the mountain it changed um, sound. 16,000 foot. Pretty much that's how high that mountain is. Now we need to find an airport. Put this bad boy down. I don't know how you, how you slow this bad boy down but we're going to try. We'll give it a go. Where's the airport at? Uh, let's find the first, closest airport and see, eh? Tower. Marseille Center 2666-2142 is type 8 miles southeast of Lima Foxtrot Hotel Mike 10,500 feet. Request flight following.
Roger, two six sixty six two one four two. Alrighty. We're going to come into land somewhere. When it's uh, dark time here, mate, you wouldn't see shit. Holy moly. You want to use your radar contact by them, brother? Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Coming in the daylight. Is there an airport somewhere? No, but if I don't watch what I'm doing, we're going to be hitting the deck. Just a little bit brighter. There we go. Try to land it. Wherever it is. Where's the goddamn airport? Is that it? <laughs> That's it. That's the runway. Holy shit balls. Are we going to stop here? We're going to have to fly up. We have to approach this one a little. Oh shit! Jesus. Okay, we're not going to approach that. We crashed. That's okay. That's okay. We get back to the main menu. <laughs> we crashed. <laughs> goodness, goodness, goodness. No main menu. All right, going to stop the stream there, and I'll restart another one straight away, and uh, we'll go to the other three places. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, Coop. I'll be back in a second. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs>